All right, hey everyone, Wanabot here, and welcome to XO1. Probably one of the weirder games to come out of this year, which is, I mean, it's odd, because nothing about this game is necessarily weird, except for the fact of what you are. It's a, oh gosh, I'd almost call it like a super weird modern infinite runner, but not? Because it's not infinite runner, there's an end to this. But the closest thing I could compare it to would be a, a runner type game, even though it plays completely differently. It's like if uh, Journey was a runner game, but you could also fly with heavy momentum. It's nuts. I don't like the sound effects. It's making me deeply uncomfortable. Radio telescopes have received an extraterrestrial signal containing plans to build a spherical exoplanetary probe. The sole survivor of the Jupiter mission disaster said, The signal is meant for me, and... I can get them back. See, this feels like the start to a horror movie, honestly. Like, any and all of this would... Oh. So this craft doesn't use a rocket engine at all? You call it a gravity drive? Hey, all of this just sounds like the beginning of a terror, like an actually terrifying movie. Correct. When engaged, gravity feel gravity increases tenfold. When disengaged, gravity becomes moonlike. It's all theoretical at this point, anyway. <laughs> like I'm feeling legitimately freaked out here, just a little bit. Construction still hasn't commenced. Here we go. We are now ball. Hello everyone. Wanderbot here and welcome to XO1. I think I already did an intro, but you know what? I'm gonna do it again anyway. Because this is the actual XO1. Everything else is just kind of Well I don't wanna necessarily say bonus, but background noise. This weird horror movie track. to a game that could have just started us cold like this and I would have never noticed or cared. There's a couple of games like this that kind of exist within the same vein where it's just like, you just kind of go. Anyway, so you can turn it into a ball, you can also fly. Uh, I, I know some of this game from having played it uh, a couple months ago, a year ago. I don't know, time has lost all meaning. But you can specifically glide. I know there's like wind currents that you can specifically find. And also glowy bits that are kind of important. I don't actually know which is more important than what. But yeah, it's just a game about going and momentum and other stuff. Nah. Screwed it up. I know there's, I know there's ways to specifically, like, chain some of these things. There's a wind current over here. Oh, and there's the other astronauts. So I believe if we hit this wind stream, or is it just the clouds? Not entirely sure. There we go. Now we want to go in here for reasons. Energy source detected. No. I'm going back. You can't stop me. I think I needed a double jump there to actually get what I was looking for. Good. I can go back at the very least. 
I always worry this is putting me in one hell of a meditative mood. I'm actually... I'm not actually terribly surprised by it. It very much feels like the kind of game that you're... you are supposed to meditate through. Okay. Come on. Oh. Got it. Power levels increased. Just hit off of that, and then look for maybe the next thing. Or hit the clouds, I don't know. We also have dive. Oi. You really can just boost. Yeah, I want to say you get... Yeah, you get a, a speed boost while you're in the clouds. There we go. <laughs> this whole horror astronaut thing is definitely throwing me off, though. In, like, a weird way. There we go. Hey, I'm just gonna stick to the sky. Transport monolith, distance closed, 40 kilometers. Right. Oh! We can dive and pull up for a speed boost in the clouds. The reason why you want to do this is because there's not always clouds nearby to give you a speed boost. And so if you can get as high as possible in the clouds, you're good to go. Or, you know... Maybe it doesn't work that way. There we go. Looks like it can boost a couple of times. I'm trying to look around and see if there's any... any more light radii. Light radii? Light beams? There we go. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm too distracted by just the environment, I think. But I'm looking for any light beams that increase my power. Look. It gives me journey vibes. The the idea specifically of you know finding all of those those scarf pieces that give you the speed boost. Like there's something truly beautiful about that as kind of a collectathon thing where it's like you don't have to, but you want to. Is this actually supposed to be a, a spaceship of some variety? I mean, yes, it's an extraterrestrial vehicle of a sort. It looks like I can't get any more height boosts. I have to touch the ground to recharge those. Boy, I am... I'm curious about speedruns for this game. I can only imagine they're incredible. Let's stick to the clouds while well, we got them. Because yeah, you can tell I'm losing speed because I, I start becoming... Ooh. No. Yeah, not enough. Not a not enough vertical momentum. It's fine. Cuz I can just do this. Let's just go hell it down. Sometimes going hell it down is all you need. I'm going to save the uh the gain height double jump boosts for when I need them. Here we go. Instead, we're just gonna go this way. I don't know- I know there are other collectibles that you can find. At the same time, it? Not perfect. I was hoping I'd have just a little bit of momentum. But I should remember not to use the, uh, the gravity booster whenever going uphill. It seems like a terrible idea. There we go. That's the way to get some height right there. Let's see.
Not quite perfect. We're going the right way. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. Honestly, the kind of game... I don't want to necessarily say... Oh, gosh. I don't even know where I put it. How did he even describe it? It's a kind of weird meditative game where... I think I... I mean, I, I think I've been having this problem a little bit more lately, but commentating over it, like, what do you say? You're just kind of on a journey. I could talk about whatever, but I feel like it would be ephemeral. Uh, that whatever topics I bring up would be... Basic? And maybe not in interesting, but I... I wouldn't be able to keep up with him because I'd be too busy getting distracted by the things around me. It's an eye candy game. Uh, one that is meant mostly just to serve as a background to your own thoughts with maybe a little bit of thought provoking something or other. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's more to this than that. I don't know. But at the same time, does there need to be more than that? Maybe this is okay. Maybe this is in fact fine. And we just want to go up this thing. We... I'm sure I missed many things. I wonder if you're really supposed to explore the environment far more than I did. Whatever happens, you come back, okay? I'll miss you every day. I think about that sometimes. There's that Mars startup that was, it like, was taking volunteers and maybe donations or something like that? To specifically, you know, maybe do like a, a mission to Mars where people would be Mars colonists. And yeah, for some reason they were just taking volunteers from anyone. Approaching high orbit above Jupiter. See you on the other side. Good luck and Godspeed. But so I specifically remember, yeah, tons of people back in, it must have been college. At least for me, you know, seven, ten years ago, something to that extent. Maybe it was even earlier. There's nothing in the design for a cockpit. No internal space for a pilot. How do you fly it? We have to stop thinking in human terms and trust their design. Anyway, it does more than just fly. I was wondering about that. Where do you put a person inside this? Do they just kind of... become? I guess they must. There we go. What was I gonna say? <sighs> the problem is, just like, the eye candy is, is distracting. Oh, the Mars mission. Okay. That's neat. I see some other glowy bits around here that I kind of want to go for. Yeah, it looks like they attach to me and give me a, a bit of a flight boost, but not for long. Here we go. I'm just going to hurtle off into the sunset for a bit. And see what these give me. There we go. And not much for clouds. We'll see. But yeah, I just I just remember there being tons of people sold on this dream of potentially being a Mars colonist. And I never remember I don't think anything ever came of it. I think they all went. Well, I, I think the company actually like went belly up like pretty quickly or at least you know went radio silent for a while and then just gave up because yeah obviously not going to be able to afford it I think about that sometimes just in terms of like a conceptual level like going away potentially forever you know going to this other planet in such a way that return is unlikely or downright unfeasible 
and the people that will do so willingly. I don't think I have that confidence. The most I, I could do is like move across an ocean. And even then, some part of me feels kind of guilty for... For not... Not something. Not visiting more, not spending more time with the people that I knew and loved, and hello. That's cool looking, and I probably want to get up to the top of it. Let's just very awkwardly hit this, and yeah, let's go see what the glowy thing at the top of whatever this structure is. Oh, it's, it's another power booster. Huh. You can just bounce off the ground, I guess. Let's see if I can hit the wind. There we go. Just kind of bouncing on top of the wind current instead of actually doing it right. But maybe that's okay. Maybe I don't need to do anything fancy. Okay, do we have anything else here? I'm just going to do a quick spin, especially while we've got this wind current here that it can just send me onwards. Doesn't look like it, though I see the ball. There we go. Or not the ball, this like weird crater divot. And I must. I know that I must. Okay, let's not biff it. Not quite the speed that I was hoping to get here. But it's okay. Whatever happens, happens, and it'll get me to the next one. Boy, you got dark. I should probably get back in that canyon, but at the same time, I've got, I've got the bowls to sustain me. Whoops. Well, that didn't work. What is even down there? I don't know, but I think I need to go into at least a little bit of Horror Canyon. Actually, it looks... Uh, looks kind of like there's nothing. It's just air. Maybe nothing more. Maybe some wind currents. Who knows? I'm just, I'm just on a journey. Reminds me of, like, Race to the Sun, except for not heinous. Well, not heinous. Race to the Sun was a very hard game. Could never get into it for that reason. I'm just not much of a hard game kind of guy, I guess. Never have been. I like challenging games. I like games that make me think, strategize, come up with interesting techniques and ways of beating it. I don't really like games that are just outright hard or brutal or punishing in some way. I'll leave that for other people. People that have, I think, more time on their hands than I do. I, that was not as productive as I was hoping it would be, but that's okay. <laughs> I was really hoping to just thread the needle and w absolutely whiffed it. There we go. That's a speed boost. I'm positively glowing. There we go. Hey, these things even give boosts. And if you really wanted to be gutsy, you could potentially... Position yourself off of one of these. 
for a big speed boost on kind of the, the bull-like tops of those mountains. I dig it. Like I said, the speed runs for this game are probably going to be intense in such a cool way. Seeing as I seem to be getting, like, mad air from everything I touch here, I might as well just do tons of dives. Looks like the ground is a little bit friendlier on this one. Okay, I'm gonna bounce. Shoot. Well, it's okay. The tower abides. Let's see if I can just boost it out. Perfect. There we go. So what are these things? Because I've seen them glowing. It looks like they're boost gates of some variety. There we go. Oh, you know me. I gotta do it. Hello. We've got something there. Hello, glowy thing. What are you? The question is, am I going to be able to catch it? Or is it going to fire itself? Well, we've lost contact with objects, so it must have fired itself out. That's the only explanation I can give. This is sick, as always. Let's see if I can find it. Where are we even going now? Are we going to other planets? Where does Jupiter have to even factor in with any of these things? I am lost and I am confused, but I am here for it all the same. Wish you were here with this, Commander. It's amazing. Officially swimming, swimming through Jupiter's atmosphere. Got some serious storm activity now. Visibility low. I feel like you should be able to send a probe through first and foremost, but I don't know. Quirinus 2. So it does look like these are completely different planets. I wonder if the point of this is like Jupiter has some kind of weird warp gate. Non-casual object reacquired, retrieving data, and then numbers and junk. There we go. Oh, there it is. I doubt I'm going to be able to catch it. As I currently am. Maybe I can? No. I bet it's programmed to go just a little faster than me. Either that or I'm totally whiffing it. You absolutely can. Hard to say. Yeah, looks like it's supposed to stay just ahead of me. Yes. Didn't really get the boost I was looking for. I mean, speed boost, yes. Height boost, not so much, though. I'm just gonna kind of keep the blinky in my in my sights. Ah, oh, shoot. I say that as I completely screw that up. That's fine. Yeah, getting height here is uh, not easy. Yeah, I've lost 
missed it. I bet it is. Oh, no, there it is. Wait, power leak? That's the ramp. Yeah. I didn't get the boost. Probably could have maybe gone back for it, but I don't know. I'll take what I can get. Let's just roll up this structure. Ugh. Yeah. I got a lot of these like bull structures that I could maybe utilize if I was doing just a bit better, but I'm not. So instead, if I can get into the clouds, they're really high today. There we go. I was doing so well at the outset of this zone, but not so much with the rest. Oh, okay, that looks not healthy. Let's see, I do not have any more jumps. I'll make the most of what I got. But yeah, we've got whatever this red junk is. I think I'm going to have to investigate. Find out mostly for the heck of it. That looks like it's just a booster. There we go. Let's take a bit of a detour. Through these clouds. You know, I thought, actually, flying up to this planet was going to be more of a lava planet than it ended up being. It's mostly just kind of this sandy desert with a couple of, like, weird gouty things and a lot of embers that are covering my screen. Which I'm not going to say is confusing. Oh no, here we go. got it. I haven't seen anything that looks even remote, remotely close to one of the power boosters. Either that or I completely missed it. It is a possibility. Unless it's like nowhere near... Okay. Flub that one. Boy, this looks dangerous, and yet it's not. There we go. Just position ourselves right in here. And get the boost. Follow it as far as we can. Because if it's going to take us places, then who am I to ignore it? Okay, is this enough? Are we good? We're good. Still no boosts. A lot of... I guess it is lava. Oh. Hello, glowy pillar. Oh, nope. This is the boost. Alright. Onwards we go. I was expecting a booster. Or a power boost? I'm not even sure if power boosts are really power boosts. Getting some odd energy readings. Some kind of stable lightning current. I'm really invested in this story. Oddly enough, I don't want to say I'm less invested in the gameplay, because the gameplay is kind of hard hard to even mention. Oh, we just went through an uh ooh. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit more invested in the gameplay. I'm invested in seeing how the gameplay plays out more than mastering it. What's that sound? Shut it off. I can't think straight. That sounds 
dangerous and unhealthy. Our clocks are going crazy. Systems overloading. We have a problem, Jupiter Orbiter. We're on fire. Reading a huge energy buildup ahead. There's no time. Launching escape pods. Oh, so that's them burning up in the storms, and then one of the random pillars potentially jettisons, jettisons them elsewhere? Only explanation I can give. Oh. Go deep and you go far. I appreciate... I appreciate this whole... Shower business. There we go. I have no idea how we don't just immediately sink. Or maybe we will. Or that was... I don't know about... Ge getting jump scared constantly by weird flashes of the orb or Jupiter or other things. It's probably fine. Okay. Let's just go for a slight boost. We don't even need much. Though, yeah, we... S we sink pretty quickly here. There we go. Just don't want to lose sight of that. I'm really curious what would happen if I specifically just stayed underwater for like a ridiculous amount of time. I can only imagine it would go badly for me. Okay, we're so close. We're so close to this power thing at the very least. Yeah, I can always just skip the waves. No, I can't. Huh. Alright. Hit the cloud if I can. Not that it's much of a cloud. The clouds here are pretty mild. Wait, I've lost it. Oh, I haven't lost it. Oh, is there... There is an underground. Or not an underground. There, There is a surface underneath all the water. I mean, as there should be, but still. Uh-oh. Ooh. We get off track. I guess, actually, maybe the point is that the clouds are... Really stinking high. Yeesh. I kind of get the physics on this. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to sink too deep. It might give you a speed boost, but it's gonna throw you off. That's a boost I'm looking for. Right, come on, clouds. Come on, clouds, don't fail me. Yes. Yes. And getting in the clouds is arguably probably the easiest way to maintain speed here. I'm not going to get these. If I can pull out. Nope. I don't think I have much of a choice in that one. And yeah, there's no clouds nearby. I'm just going to do my base. There we go. Whoa. Hi. No clouds nearby, but it doesn't matter. 
We're going. All right. Uh, so I should probably mention that X01 is available on Steam. Came out last week. Wanted to get to it sooner, but my schedule was messy. All right. Let's see if we can stay in the clouds. It is a very chill kind of just go game. More about the skill of the gameplay than the actual any kind of like major running narrative. Though, like I said, I'm kind of invested in what happened to the astronauts just because. Uh, Space mission disasters are, I don't want to say, like, a secret kind of popcorn thing for me. There we go. But there's just something about it that fascinates me. Largely, I think, because it is... Oh, no. Maybe I, maybe I can just go up? Maybe I can just climb? There it is. I don't know where I'm going. All that I know is that I am going backwards and further down. Which is not great. Let's see if I can just use the water to my advantage. Let's try that again. That's a lot of red. Come on, give me a big... Give me a big... I see clouds for days. But can I get to any of them? Come on. I can, I can get it. I just have to believe and send myself skyward. Am I just below the clouds again? I am. Oh, icebergs are spooky. There we go. I just have to get back on target. How the hell did I get so far away? I wonder if my better bet would be to go off this thing. Because this is, like, actually ridiculously hard. I, uh, hold up. Maybe I don't need the clouds or anything. Maybe I just need to be underwater because I, I notice I go deep enough. Yeah. If I go deep enough, I should be able to do a boosted dive. Please be enough. Got it. Power levels increased. What does that mean? I don't know. Having the foggiest. But we got it. Glide mode extended. Energy stored. Full containment reach. Oops. Oh yeah, that doesn't help anybody. Alright, cool. Anyway, uh, as I was saying with my kind of attempt at an outro before I got really distracted by everything. Uh, so this, this is available on Steam, came out last week. It is, I think it's only like 15 bucks or something like that. 15 to 20 bucks. Which I think is actually like a very fair, fair price for kind of what it is. I don't know what it is yet. I mean, 
atmospheric travel game? A atmospheric frisbee simulator? Space frisbee simulator? Ball thing? I just... I don't know. The joy is in the traversal and the gameplay is all about movement. And it's the kind of thing that, like, if you really love mastering how to traverse an area to... to skillfully use a set of... I'm not going to say arcane game mechanics, but game mechanics that really don't exist in almost any anywhere else. Uh, and using them to kind of break the game over your knee and, like, really fly. Or just weird space mystery... I, I don't want to say alien worlds, because I'm not really getting alien worlds out of these. Just a lot of deserts and other things. I'm assuming impact imminent, T minus five seconds. Shutdown initiated. Uh, that bad? Mission control, Jupiter orbiter, still awaiting status report. Over. We aren't reading the flyer. Please confirm. Yeah, you can even see the, the stakes from the tower. Do you read? Over. Is anyone reading this? Oh, is that what happened? The planet we were just on might have actually been Jupiter? Presumed dead after losing contact with Jupiter one year ago. has just docked with the ISS. Near hours after returning from Jupiter, Earth telescopes have picked up what appears to be an alien signal. There might also be, like, multiple light beams here. It's a little confusing. This whole game is confusing. It's neat, though. And I'd like to play more, but I think it might be the kind of thing that I just load up on my own. It's hard to conjure commentary in a vacuum. And this is very much the kind of game that I'd almost say exists perfectly as a, like, turn your brain off kind of deal. I think there's a lot of things for me to grab here. There we go. Huh. A lot of these pillars. At least I know, know how to get large amounts of height pretty quickly. A fair bit of speed. Shoot for the clouds. Clouds are pretty good at giving, getting me the height that I need here. There we go. Okay. Well, one way or another, I think I'm starting to flounder a little bit, but I'm enjoying myself. Which is, I think, probably one of the most important parts to any... Ooh, my computer did not, did not like that, whatever it is. So glide mode has been extended and energy is stored. So it probably just continues to extend to glide mode. Endlessly. I'm curious what's going on over here. I'm curious about a lot of stuff. But I will say, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, I got tons of them. I'm never going to stop. Well, I mean, I might. Need a break sometimes. <laughs> uh, ooh. Or, you know, that might be the fragments of the tower. We will see. Uh, either way, with all that said, uh, thanks for watching. Where was that, where's that blue glow? I saw it here, and I've lost it, and now I'm distracted. And it's fine. Oh, there it is. Ooh, yeah, this is actually causing my computer to just, like, spike its fans constantly. Oh, I mean, it's good that it 
took this long for that to actually happen. You know, you could skip off of those. All right. Well, I gotta stop, but I want to see what this blue thing is. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. What are you, thing? Oh, I see. We have to collect them to reactivate the tower. I actually kind of dig this. The previous ones have been a little bit more linear. This one's just like, yeah, but what if you actually had to repair the transport monolith? I got it. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Whee! That was less wee than I was expecting. It was like a small boost. It was a nice small boost. But it wasn't enough. <laughs>